my friend, she is volunteering for the hospitals. She sent me a huge list, but I wasn't able to buy much in Poland. So first aid kit. And here's some food. The, the lighters asked me to bring some cookies, painkillers, instant soups, power banks, and some materials just to make bandages, they even out of the bandages. Wow. Yeah, so you see the, the back is huge. I still have space, but it's basically what everything that I could got yesterday. I'm surprised how many people want to get back to Ukraine. And to be honest, I'm surprised to see a lot of women here. As I, I suggested, I will see only men, as it's, it's expected. Um, they're defenders, first of all, but um, so many women, it's like, wow. Uh, me and my husband were on vacation in Egypt. And uh, we get breakfast uh, and get to lobby to connect to Wi-Fi. And uh, like my husband just uh, read the new news and was like, um, "Honey, um, the war started." So we bought tickets to Berlin. From Berlin, we traveled to Poland, uh, stayed for a few days at our relatives uh, in Warsaw, and now we are here and getting back. In Kyiv we have left my parents, mother, father, my smallest sister, our pets. To be honest, I'm not scared now to get back there. I'm just furious. Пока ещё как бы мы же выехали в мирное время, так сказать, и это было для нас полной неожиданностью. Я постоянно поддерживаю связь с группой с работы. Я читаю, что там происходит. Ну, конечно, очень страшно. Ну, я хочу домой. Ну, у нас вот видите, сколько много и все храбрые. <laughs> все хотят домой вернуться с женщиной, вот даже с нами она в Харьков возвращается, которые полностью разбомбили, но она хочет домой тоже. So, I'm coming from Oman. I arrived yesterday uh, to Poland. My mom lives in Kharkiv and uh, I'm trying to get her out. And as well, I'm doing some humanitarian delivery. <laughs> She doesn't want to go with people that she doesn't know because now she's just like so scared of everything. It's constant bombing, especially the living areas. It's actually quite critical because she has problem heart issues and uh, uh, her medical supply is like for maybe 10 to 15 days more. I'm feeling now that I'm at least helping and doing something. So hopefully I will be able to reach her in Kharkiv and uh, pick her up. I just arrived from the UK on a plane to Poland to collect my mother. We warned, we forecasted and my mom always said, don't panic, everything will be great. He has no idea what Ukrainians like. <laughs> he will never go for Ukraine. So, um, and I said, mom, no, there's lots of tanks around the border. Many people I know were in complete denial. You wouldn't imagine anything like this in the 21st century, would you? The city is blown up. I watched children being killed. I've seen so much horror in my country. Even if it takes my life and my children will be without mom, I must save my mom. But my brother is gonna stay because he obviously will stay to fight. He's 57. He's my only brother. Can't wait to give him a hug.